And today we're going to be doing a fat guitar, packs of cricket. I'll start by showing you that we have trees here, English willow trees from Milton Keynes. We'll be um, machining them next week, they'll probably be turned into clefts and sent to India. Here we've got our kiln. There's about 1200 clefts in there, ready in about three to four weeks. I'll let you have a little look inside. At the moment, it's rocking at about 50 degrees, so it should be drying quite nicely. So this is one of our band saws, it's used for the first cut when we're cutting clefts but as you can see it's been cut into width this morning and these are some of the off cuts from the clefts when we've been cut into width. And now I'll take you over to the next band saw we've got, if you want to follow me. Here we've got our second band saw and this is used for creating the spine on a cleft. And here we've got our press, there's only one or two of these left in the country, one of the oldest presses in England. This is what gets you the performance here, it's all about not pressing it too much, but just pressing it enough. So here you can have a look at our ride, this is one of the most important machines for making bats in this factory. Once they've come from pressing they'll come on here and they'll be part made before they go across to being handmade. So this is where we do our sanding, we've got the front sander here, this does the face and the edges. Obviously you rough first, then smooth, then we've got our back sander here. This is at the moment set for the pro blade shape, you obviously smooth and rough again. It's a big wheel so there's no concaving on this one, but we can change to a little wheel which is... The little wheel is here, that's a smaller wheel and that'll do the colossus shape that we do. And that's the sanding process there. Two sanders, one for face and edge, and one for your back. Now this is the final sanding process. This is what we call the engis. This is the finest sandpaper. So after we've roughed and smoothed, we'll stick the engis on and give it one last sand. So this is where we do the wrapping of the handle. First we apply a bit of glue to it. This bar has got our traditional Wavex handling. Slightly harder to wrap than a straight handle. Start it off by hand because of the groove at the top. It just drops down slightly. Now I'll turn the machine on and give it a wrap. You might want to come to the other side, Nick. Now we'll apply a bit of string underneath, this is to try and tighten the string at the bottom in the end, I'll show you the technique we have. Put the loop on underneath, we'll now wrap over the top of the loop, 
nice and tight, so we'll go a bit slower, keep the pressure on. Now keep it nice and tight, the string, just trim it on the end. Put the cut bit through the loop, I'll give you another look in a second. Pull the string tight, grab this end of the string and pull the string back against itself and through to tighten it up. Grab the loose bit of string, pull it to the side and in. Nip it off. Apply a little bit of glue to the bottom to keep the string solid. And there you go, we've got a wrapped WaveX handle for you. So now I'm just going to give the bat a quick polish to make it look nice and shiny, give it the finishing touches. See I'm just doing, applying some wax to our polisher. That's the face done there, nice and shiny, just do the back. And there we have the back, nice and shiny. So here we have our climate room, we'll just give you a quick explanation about this climate room. This is where we put our bats when they're finished but not ready to go in the showroom. Just keep some, just above room temperature so they don't gain any weight but they don't lose any weight. Keep them nice and clean and out of the way. You can have a look inside, there's a few, few bats that are wrapped in this polished and finished and a couple that still need polishing. As you can see on the left, we've got clefts that haven't been pre-shaped through the right. And on the right, we've got clefts that have been through the right. I'm just going to put a couple of the bats that we've done this week in there, nice and ready for um, Monday morning. What bats are they? These are the grails. You can find these on our website. These are the top of the range bats. Just put these into one side to keep them nice and clean up on the top. And that's the climate room for you there. And thank you for visiting Kipax Cricket. That's the end of the tour. If you would like to come in and see some bats, feel free to visit us. If not, check out our website. It's www.kipaxcricket.co.uk. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and a follow on our YouTube page. Every little helps. Thank you.